The trend of consolidation is on steady move. As on Monday, June 5, 2023, His Excellency Sassim El Alayofobara, GSSRS Governor of River State, dissolved the 9th and proclaimed the 10th River State Assembly in line with the constitutional powers bestowed on him. Sassim El Governor of River State, in exercise of the powers bestowed upon me by Section 105, Subsection 3, as a faucet, and of all other powers, enabling me in that behalf, hereby proclaim that the first section of the 10th River State Assembly holds 10 0, 0, AM. On this day, Monday the 5th, June 2023. He thereafter paid an unscheduled visit to the ongoing construction of the Convocation Arena at the University of Pawtucket being built by the River State Government. <laughs> Wednesday, June 7, Governor Simon Alayofubara joined other governors to attend a crucial meeting with the President, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR at the Presidential Villa, Abuja to discuss pertinent national issues. Thursday, June 8, saw His Excellency Sir Simon Alayofubara hosting the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, River State Chapter at the Executive Council Chamber, Government House Pataket. Then on Friday, June 9, his Excellency Sir Simina Laefobara held a crucial meeting with the National Assembly members elect from River State to take position on the election of the 10th National Assembly leadership coming on Tuesday, June 13, 2023. While on Saturday, June 10, His Excellency Sir Simina Laefobara inspected the Andoni section of the ongoing Ogoni Opobonkoro Andoni Unity Road where he expressed disappointment with the contractor and immediately ordered the Commissioner of Works, Alabo Dax Judge Kelly, to revoke the contract and reaward it to a serious firm. On his way back, Governor Fubara stopped over at the Dental and Fisher Maxillo Teaching Hospital of the River State University at Garrison. He also visited the Kesley Harrison Hospital in Emenike Street in Diobu to ascertain the extent of work. His Excellency Sir Simon Fubara expressed satisfaction with the works done at the two facilities, assuring that he will form part of his 100 days project to be commissioned. Uh, commend the contractor. He understands the agenda of the state, which is serious business when it comes to the welfare of our people. So I think it will be among the projects we are going to commission in our 100 days in office. Those were the highlights of the week.